Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Hay and I believe in dragons and I also talk to dragons. Talking to dragons, that is something that I want to tell you something about. Maybe it seems strange, people who talk to themselves, but those people are often the most powerful ones in their energy. Because these people feel something that they need to say loud. And I um, sometimes do that myself and some people look, to, look at me and say, oh, what a weirdo is talking to himself. No, 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 I am talking to my dragon. I'm talking to several dragons, even not even the dragon with me. I sometimes step wherever I go into the dragon's realms and I can see and even feel dragons. And the, the beauty of this one is that I often talk to the dragon and sometimes people hear that. You can also talk to the dragons when you are thinking something. Just your mere thoughts are enough to, to talk to them. But it's just it's just the way we are. We, we like to say something loud. So I do this. And some people say, why are you doing that? Because I am talking to my dragon. And then say, oh, what a weirdo. He must be crazy. Yes, of course, like everyone is. And I just don't care anymore. I used to be afraid of that. I used to be silent because, yeah, what if people heard that, but not now. It, the beauty of, of this is talking to your friend, talking to your dragon. It's so beautiful when you do that. And, and sometimes you just feel that. You feel when the dragon is around. So... And you can hear them. You hear this, what they, whatever they say, you hear this with inside your head. They say voices in your head, that is because people are crazy. No, that's not true. People sometimes hear voices. And it, it's not like you understand a dragon language or you can speak with a dragon tongue. But it's because of this energy inside of you that translates everything. Whatever the dragon is saying, you will understand. Whatever you are saying and think, the dragon will understand. So a conversation is not impossible. You can do that. They even did that actually when you were young, when your gates were far more open. And actually you, you might have an imaginary friend, even though you don't remember that. And that is also the beauty of the dragon's path and have a dragon up by your side. People um, who invoke dragons, a draconic energy into their rituals, not people from draconic wicker or the path of the dragon, but just witches who invoke the dragon, which happens, but not, not much, I, I can assure you. But um, these people cannot have a conversation with a the dragon. They cannot. They cannot. It's, it's just... They don't have this translation inside of them, of, of their energy. They don't have that. But you have. You have because this, this energy is awakened because of a dragon by your side. And this, by, by this awakened energy, you can understand the dragon. You can understand them and they can understand you. And you can even talk to other dragons. You, my brother or sister, can talk to my dragon. You can do that. And with uh, even the right energy, the right knowledge, you can even invoke my dragon into your ritual. But I don't advise that because my circle is quite secret. And yeah, I stay out of your circle and you stay out of mine. And it's a sacred thing. So well, there is one time that a man did that and I, did, I, I didn't agree with that. Invoking a circle, you don't do that. So yeah, um, talking to dragons, um, I talk to them all the time actually, uh, from uh, the beginning until now. I just talk to my dragon, dragon now. Um, whenever I'm feeling sad, whenever I, I, I'm feeling happy, whenever I'm alone, I, when I feel alone, it's not only... Uh, listening, it's also hearing them inside of your head. Not that you're crazy, not at all. It's something beautiful when you hear them. And you can understand them. So few people can do that. It's, it's a gift. 
It's a gift of nature. It's a gift of the dragon. It's a gift of who you are and you, who you are born to. It's so beautiful. I cannot describe it any differently. So yeah. So let yourself go. If, if you have a dragon altar, that is the best way to talk to the dragon without any awkward moments with the people around you like I have sometimes. So you can talk to them in this place. Um, you also want to know where your dragon is and that is a good way to use your hand. To use your hand is a very powerful tool. You can, it's very sensitive and you can feel your dragon. It's different. That when you feel your dragon, um, the, en the energy but also the air is different than the other places. Most of the time it's just normal, but some places it's different. And how different? Sometimes it's more, more colder, more warmer. Your hands, your hair will more like stand up. And you feel, you, you will feel that it's very familiar. Use your hands. It's a very, very good tool to detect your dragon. But you know that the dragon is with you. You know it's just around you. You just need to open your senses. It's a sixth sense. It's an extra sense that you have given by nature that is actually um, powered off. When you were born, it's powered off. Actually, not when you are born, when you grow up. So yeah, talk to them. It's not only dancing with them. There are so few people who can really talk to the dragon. And I know that people who watch videos like this have a dragon by their side. I know that. It's just this interest that is just enough. Most of the time it's enough. And if there are Christians who look at this, uh, just it's not evil, not at all. It's just who people are. They experience this themselves. They don't need any priests for this. And I love to talk to my dragon. I love it all the time. <laughs> I, I love to talk with, to come to with my problems with the dragon. It's just the dragons are good listeners. Dragons are amazing listeners and amazing friends. Of course, some people say, how sad, oh, he made up dragons because he's so, he has a sad life. I wish it was in the beginning, but it's not. The experiences are very real. But now I don't want to, I never want to uh, turn my back on this dragon. I, I love my dragon so much and everyone on the dragon's path loves their draconic energy around them just the same. So yeah, talk to them. Talk to your dragon. Let's see if they can talk to you. Maybe it happened. But this is very uh, important to know. Let everything go. Just don't care about the people around you. Don't care. Just let go all of your energy. Let it go. Let your energy go. And let the dragon feel your energy. So that the dragon can come close and open the gates, and so they can talk to you. You have not a dragon tongue, but the dragon will understand you. Actually, every dragon will understand you, whatever you say. Your dragon tongue may, may not be draconic, but your mind is. That is why I sometimes, and some people with me, walk like a dragon sometimes, and that is not because I, I do it on purpose, no, it, it comes naturally. Everything comes naturally. The mind is, is part draconic and that is what they understand. When you say something, it goes by the mind and your mind will automatically talk to them. And, it, and uh, it, the dragon will talk back at you with the same mind that you have, a draconic mind. So yeah, my brothers and sisters, be blessed.